welcome back to Styx Master of Shadows with Dr. Schneider. Alright. You just have to head to the mission. And, um... Hopefully we can get to the part where we find out who Styx is rescuing from the jail. Ah, deliverance. Uh, I have beaten the game before, so I know that this is a pivotal part of the story. But we still have to get all the tokens. So hopefully it's not too slow. Uh, I think we also start playing through some of the maps we've already beaten, too. Now by the look of these maps, this is the elevator that leads to the prison. The mechanism to activate it shouldn't be far. Let's take a look around. Perfect. All right, so before we go on, we need to find the relic from the high security section. And we have no other objective besides doing the elevator, so we're free to find the coins and leave. rough start. I'll try choking that guy out and then knifing the other guy. But those guys really have to go for me to be able to move around freely. I love this little tooltip that says, hey, you can lean around a corner and throw a knife. I'm like, hey game. Have you ever tried that? All you do is throw the knife into the corner. So let's be a little more careful. We just can't let this guy alert. That'd be the worst. Neither of them had knives to replace the one I spent. Oh. Daddy doesn't love me. I wish I could break that chain. Alright, so because it's um, middle of the night now, it's a little bit different lighting dynamic in this section. Also you may notice enemies roving in pairs. Luckily, all our hideouts are still the same. Our mechanism is 
down where I pointed out earlier. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I saw a third guy in that section. So I'd really like if we could just circumvent that balcony. Get a better lay of the land. So there's a dude over there. At the very least. Do you think they exist? Goblins? What's that? You know, in stories. The creatures you see from the corner. I dropped down eye, here, unfortunately. No longer there than you turn around. Oh yeah. Sometimes happens to me. Seeing things that don't exist. Everything alright. <laughs> Gotta be quick. knife over there though. Okay, it shouldn't be seen there. Perfect distraction. I'm actually pretty pleased how that went down. Not pleased in the least with that. There's a token there, though, so... I really have to get back my silver snuff box that Bertram won off me the other day. Ooh. Silver snuff box? That sounds like a party. The tokens may be in the same spots. You won't be seeing it again. Bertram must have given it to Harold for the right to shit some other place than in his cell. That was just poor luck. Foul beast. I was going to turn visible too. Bugger me. We didn't get another objective for the snuff box. But I think that it's a thing that you can do. I guess this is exit only. Alright. Where's the entrance then? Oh, that's clever. I never would have noticed that otherwise. Oh, 
Oh, well, don't stop and cross your arms. That throws off everything. No, 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 no. Hey, someone there! Stop! Wanna play out? What was that noise? Stop! Damn it! I've lost sight of it. Where is it? This is my curiosity getting better with me. So you notice the hole? Does well, but he doesn't notice stay me. Careful. All right, even if there's someone on that balcony, a single human isn't an issue. And there wasn't. Not worth resources, though. But now we know. Okay, now how do we handle that guy? Probably the quickest way. We just go down these. And then pop up the other side. Again, sloppy, but he is the only one. And now we should have the run of this place. To do with what I will. Sleeping guard and patrolling guard over there. Two archers overwatching them. Doing great shape. I thank you, Dan. Sent you an invite, Durf. So feel free to join. I'm just slaughtering everyone in this map again. Oh, well, can't be helped. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with those guys over there somehow before I tackle this part. Whatever works. Nope. Um. So we're on this map again, and all we have to do is take the elevator down to the jail, but I'm collecting all the tokens first. Hopefully this guy dies quietly. This guy dies quite aging Oscan. Tad flash for me though. I see. That's a good reason, isn't it?
Alright, so I'm gonna off this guy. Probably throw a knife in this guy's face. He didn't wake up. Glory be. Also, even though it's kind of looking like it would be, it is not the case the tokens spawn in the same location. those guys don't finish their conversation until I finish this guy's life. Alright, so far so good. We've covered a lot of ground. I want to get over there discreetly. Take out those guys. So I'm just going to do a quick save in case I fall to my death. I'll wait for this guy to stop staying at the balcony. This is acceptable. I just need to deal with this guy. And that'll, that'll not only give me access over there, take out those archers from covering the courtyard below, but also give me a token and some amber. I'm sure. I Hopefully, he doesn't get too searchy. Just got dead, nothing to see here. Well, better stay careful. Okay, we got a little bit lucky. Fortunately, we can't see through this. They have a bartender now, too. They're gonna, be, they're gonna be pretty mad. Unfortunately, they also thought it would be a great idea to put the chandelier back up, even though it fell, killing several of their men. So from here, I think what we want to do is, oh 
flown out. Hey, there's someone there. When I come up here, I want to smoke him. A monster! That was mine. Ah, oh, he caught it. And he is a magnificent trophy. It was pretty sloppy, but I got the job done. I was trying to show off the clone smoke skill, but wasn't going to work. Not going to work a clock. Yeah, he doesn't seem to care lights are out. I should be able to sneak around the corner after this kill. Or just do the deed. You can't understand how badly they want you to come up here. Gonna see his friend. It's impossible to find it. He was like one step away from seeing his friend. And then he would have rushed over, said he got dead, and that would have destroyed him as well. Or no, his friend fell, that's what triggered him. That makes sense. So we have this whole area. Did not see any tokens, except for ones we already picked up. And we got some amber back, so that's pretty good. It's got to be done. Screw those guys. Right, that was a great kill. Rack Ash, turn those lights off. Okay, so our next step is to head down here, I guess. I still haven't found any more tokens. Which 
just like bamboozling. I need to deal with those guys too. There's almost certainly going to be a token down here. Need to see what this guy's pattern is. Because we need to do this part more cleanly since you don't have any knives. Vile life in this belt. It's a good thing we're full of vials of life, because that didn't go well. Okay, no cheeky token here. Come investigate, wanker. Something moved over there. Okay, those guys like to nap, so that's good. Oz can't you're breaking my balls. Oh there it is in the book. Alright, before we head further down that way, we definitely have to explore this route. If we peel this layer by layer from the top down, we'll have much better chances of success. Pretty solid though. And he wasn't overly concerned about the torch going out. So I'm going to go back and get some more sand. Bit of a walk. Ha! <sighs> Stone faced soldiers. Cheeky basket tokens. No one 
has a knife. No! Don't move! I'm coming. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to move them just so they don't fall off the edge and mess up the next part. So now that I'm up here and someone did care about that torch. Time for change of guard. token over there. There's a third guy watching, I didn't even notice. Who's the one that cares about the light, though? Probably old man. Okay. So before I handle old man I had to handle the guy leaning up against the wall. Well, it could be better, but I think I'm going to get this kill clean. Sweet. Now I can separate the old man from his buddy by putting the torch out. So they're just a bit too close together right now. Not in this stage. Um, I think there is in the prison because it's underground. But there's not a whole lot going on here except greatly increased patrols. Now this guy's just gonna die for me. Finally, I got this didgeridoo over here, who I bet I can fake out. Sand to the torch trick works every time. I'm gonna go down the well, because that's where our relic was previously, so there's probably gonna be a token there. Uh, there's also this area over here, which I'll just grab now.
Good old Oz can. Put in the throwing knife back. I don't know who is doing archery practice in this tiny room, but I wish they were doing throwing knife practice instead. Doesn't seem to be a cheeky token hiding in any of the baskets or barrels. Hey, you wonder why Sticks doesn't. But he just doesn't. This just goes up here. Which has, uh, nothing. Okay, the well still has hooks. Look at all those sharp objects that I can't use as knives. We got five more tokens and there's not a whole lot left I haven't been to. Probably missed something. Let's just see what this patrol looks like before we hop up. There's tons of guys. It's a pretty awful spot to make a breach. They're pretty mad. I, I wasn't quick enough. Oh good. There's Robies now.
Yeah, I'm actually gonna save just in case they're hiding a troll Roby around the corner. We did get a token. I'm on pace for the Asm pickups. Doing bad for Amber, though. Cold chemical brew. Using acid a lot in this section. Just saying. is done. Just stuck in a walk cycle loop apparently. It doesn't matter if the other guy detects us. He didn't. But it doesn't matter because I have a knife. Smooth as sandpaper, but it's done. This is just a foothold, though. There's still two directions to go in. We still haven't, like, done the mechanism. Like, this level, if we were just doing it for completion, takes, like, actually three minutes tops. You just need to dash to the mechanism, and then dash to the elevator.
And this is where we came in. So we've looped back around the start. I don't seem to be missing a token. There doesn't seem to be cheeky pillars of bird's nests. We've already done up there. How about over here then? So I've got four to go. What's well, an actual. Uh, it's just a lot. All things considered. We've done in here. Done here. Done up there. I don't expect great things from here, but we'll have a look. Nothing. Nothing o'clock. It'd be a hell of a cheeky place. But they're not hella cheeky. I think all we can do is head towards the mechanism now. Now uh, there are a couple more guys we can knock out. And by knockout, I mean murder. This can be a little quick. That was nice. I should come in this general direction and have a little nap. And welcome to the eternal sleep. a token up there. Alright, we're almost down to the bottom floor. Which leaves not a whole hell of a lot of level left. Although it's a pretty busy part. Nothing on these benches, right? Big kill bunch of guys out here earlier. I still have all those archers up there too. Alright, so that guy's alerted. That guy's alerted. That guy over there doesn't care.
we don't have aerial kill, so I can't do that. There's basically no quiet way down from this particular position. There's no sneaky way that way. That part's been handled. I basically just had to hope that I was far enough away from not to hear me. I gotta be quick with this guy. There's a token. And some amber. I think if we hug the wall, we can get the jump on this guy. So watch out for Fats McGee over there. Ah, uh, there's another token. None of those bodies have knives on them. on this guy. Also, doesn't have any items on him. No guards, by the looks of it. So dropping this guy basically just gives us free access to more sand. And nothing hiding. Nothing in there. I'm gonna have to go up there for the end, but I'm not looking forward to it. Like, it's a literal requirement to progress with the level. Uh, basically, when I go down this elevator, I think I'm in the jail block. One eye finds dudes. They're watching every angle. I have a backup plan, though. something does involve the demise of this guy I'm very disappointed with how that went but, uh, free token. It 
was sloppy. Look at all these dudes. Alright. This guy has to go first. So I'll wait for his friend to patrol back around. I'll take this guy out. Then I'll wait for his friend to patrol around again and take his friend out. His friend has a torch lighting stick. So I could probably do some torch tricks on him. The floor washer over there. I think there's a token on the table. I'm trying to get a good angle. Looking around the corner. Can't quite get one. Doing? You're so weird. Why? The creature's dead. What was that shit? <laughs> he was like out of parrying range. The AI for that one was really smart though. Like, I'm not even sure I can be mad. We're going to do it the same way, except I'll be a little more careful. Well, he noticed that his friend wasn't... It puts me back here. Establish vision, visions of pointless over this way. Damn, that's punishing, though. Solve murders to catch up on. Okay. So I remember where three of the four that we picked up were. I'm gonna break my own neck at this rate. You know, just beat it there. 
I don't care anymore. I'm pretty mad, actually. part is there is one token somewhere back there I had to grab again I'm pretty sure we were at nine going to this area last time this guy not be such a dick this time, though. That was so much more satisfying. Alright, so we'll have to go back and find that token that we already got. But... For the most part, we'll finish this. This is Dublin. I could probably even do a lab kill. That guy's pretty far away. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Just chucked him down the stairs. Literally didn't care. I'll use a knife on him if I have to. Okay, so that archway is the uh, limit of their protection range, I guess. sure there are no, like, cheeky guys leaning on the side there. It's a throwing knife, which is worthwhile, but not quite what I was after. Ah, there's one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop a save, and I have to go back and find that one that I got before that I'm missing now. Let's make sure this area is cleared up.
because I'm like 99% sure we went into this area the first time with nine tokens. somewhere. Got the one from the book. up there. I go through the well. Oh my god, sticks. Every time I need you to grab something, you don't do it. And now I want you to drop down, you're just grabbing all the things and auto-pulling. here. Got the acid. There wasn't anything else here. Exit through here. Okay, so check that off the list. up here it was like right here where I was having the conversation that four tokens left was like kind of a lot so there wasn't much map left did I do the Roby room after I respawned Now we can just finish the level. And I'll do the whole next stage too. Because um, I, I like doing two stages a stream. Even if I go over, it's fine. So more or less, I can just run to the lever, and then I just need to use the elevator. And that'll do that. On to the next level. I'm gonna have to just start saving after every single token. Ah, the shortcut's probably too risky. All those dudes hanging out there. Uh, as you can expect, this level, if we were doing a mercy run, would be pretty difficult.
So the elevator comes back up and the guard changes. So all those guys are coming up this way. So we have to keep an eye out for fresh spawns, but for the most part, we should have a pretty clear run. So, uh, those of you on Twitch, I'm going to keep going, but for those of you on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching, hit like button, help slot, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll catch you in the next mission. And as I said to my twitchy friends,